still in a very exciting first pre-playoff win last night. Um, what would you say were the two or three keys to, to, to win that game last night? I think our energy level was, was, was great. Um, you know, to start a series, especially on the road, you got to make sure you bring a high level of energy. But I think the mindset was probably most important. Our, uh, our mindset um, going into a pressure situation um, stayed the same as it has all year. The guys stayed humble, they stayed hungry. Um, and like I said, our compete level was really high to go with the energy. And um, at the end of the day, we had all four lines score a goal. Uh, our special teams got one. So I think uh, when you have that depth in a playoff series, it's, it's huge. Um, there were only three penalties, two uh, on the Innsbruck side, one on your side. Do you th was that like on purpose? Did you tell the guys to try to stay five on five or was that just how the game went? Well, I think the refs did a good job. I think there was, um, there's a time and a place in playoffs where, you know, obviously it, it gets a little tighter and every call is looked at a little bit closer and stuff like that. But I, I think they let a couple things go both ways. And when I say let things go, not, not, nothing that deserved to be a call. Um, I thought the intensity of the game um, and the moment, I'll always make sure that players are a little more careful of a, uh, of a trip or a hook or things like that because they don't want to be the guy that you know takes a penalty for their team and stuff like that. So I think that's just kind of the situation you get in playoffs. But um, I thought it kind of went along with the flow of the game. Um, what would you say is the key for tomorrow? Uh, this, as you said, just the mindset, the energy, same thing? Yeah, again, it's a brand new situation. Whether we have won, um, whether we won or lost game one, we were going to come into a situation Tuesday night where either we get a chance to close the series or we're playing for our lives. So. No matter what, we were facing something new um, tomorrow night, and um, fortunately, we're on the more positive side. But uh, Innsbruck's a great team; um, they're a dangerous team. They're going to come out, and they're going to be the hungry team um, um, to keep their seasons alive. So, for us, it's just about controlling that mindset again, um, kind of going into it as it's a zero-zero um, series, and um, you know, bringing to the table what we do well. And, and if we do that um, with a good home crowd, um, I expect a good performance. Um, Steven Aure got voted MVP by some journalists from the Winter the Ice Hockey League. Some words on him. Yeah, um, super proud of him, right? It's it's incredible to see. Um, you know, Stevie was a guy we, uh, you know, I, I, I tried to bring in the first year. Um, I, I see such an amazing future in that guy's um, career. Um, and it's, it's really cool to see a guy that came out of Canadian University, um, you know, similar to like a Derek Ryan. Played a year in France, played a year in the UK League, and um, what he did this year was awesome. And it kind of resonates with our team because he was humble and he was hungry. And, um, you know, he deserved everything that came for him. And um, you know, we're really, really happy for Steve. Thank you.